Welcome to the Economic Countdown. This is some super scary stuff for those who don't get it. Do you understand why there was never any action against the Clintons or Obama? How they destroyed emails and evidence, phones and servers? Had conversations on the tarmac? Sent emails to cover their butts after key meetings? How Comey and Brennan and Clapper never were brought to any justice? How the FBI and CIA lied? How the Steele dossier was passed along? How phones got factory reset? How leak after leak to an accomplice media went unchecked? Why George Soros is always in the shadows? Why Romney, Paul, Bush, and McCain were all involved? Why they screamed Russia and pushed a sham impeachment? Why no one ever goes to jail, why no one is ever charged, and why nothing ever happens. Why there was no wrongdoing in the FISA warrants. Why the Durham report was delayed. Why Hunter Biden will walk scot-free. Why the FBI sat on the laptop. Why the Biden's connection to China was overlooked. How the perfect weapon was unleashed, a virus that could be weaponized politically to bring down the greatest ever economy and usher in unverifiable mail-in voting. Why the media is 24-7 propaganda and lies, why up is down and down is up, right is wrong and wrong is right. Why social media silences the First Amendment and speaks over the President of the United States. This has been the plan by the deep state all along. They didn't expect Trump to win in 2016. He messed up their plans, delayed it a little. They weren't about to let it happen again. COVID was weaponized. Governors helped shut down their states. The media helped shame and kill the economy. The super lucky, unverifiable mail-in ballots were just the trick to make sure the career politician, allegedly with hands in Chinese payrolls, that couldn't finish a sentence or collect a crowd, miraculously became the most popular vote president of all time. You have just witnessed a coup, the overthrow of the U.S. free election system, the end of our constitutional republic, and the merge of capitalism into the slide towards socialism. So what will happen next? Expect the borders to open up? Increased immigration? Expect agencies like CBP and INS and Homeland Security to be muzzled or even deleted. Law enforcement will see continued defunding. The Electoral College will be gone. History will be erased. Two Supreme Court justices might be removed. The Supreme Court will be packed. Your Second Amendment will be attacked. If you have a manufacturing job or oil industry job, get ready. If you run a business, brace for impact. Maybe you'll be on the hook for slavery reparations. Or you may have your suburbs turned into Section 8 housing. Your taxes are going to go up. And businesses will pay more. We could go on and on. There is no real recovery from this. The elections from here on will be decided by New York City, Chicago, and California. The Republic will be dead. Mob rule and appeasement will run rampant. The candidate who offers the most from the Treasury will get the most votes. But the votes won't matter, just the ones received and counted. That precedent has been set. Benjamin Franklin was walking out of Independence Hall after the Constitutional Convention in 1787. Someone shouted out, Dr. Franklin, what have we got? A republic or a monarchy? Franklin responded, a republic, if you can keep it. Ladies and gentlemen, you will now lose your republic. You turned from God. You turned from family. You turned from country. You embraced a degeneracy culture. You celebrated and looked to fools. You worshiped yourselves selfishly as you took for granted what men died to give you. You disregarded history and all it teaches. On your watch, America just died a little. 
It's likely she'll never be the same again. Some of you have no idea what you've done. Sadly, some of you did know. God help us all, and God bless America. Thank you for watching the Economic Countdown. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share.